Hello you guys, Sunsix Gaming with another video today, and today I'm doing another one of those videos where I kind of made systems and things that were requested in the comments, slash other things, because uh, there was one guy in the comments this time, Ian Moffat, if I pronounced it wrong, which I probably did, uh, you can tell me below, but uh, he challenged me to two things. To make uh, a gas bow with only three command blocks and instantly exploding TNT with only three command blocks. And I'm also answering the question of someone who wanted a creeper that attacks you, a charge creeper, but doesn't explode. Which kind of works. And yeah, I also made that. But first of all, we have the gas bow. Now, uh, this is just basically, instead of arrows, it shoots gas things everywhere. You can basically spam them. And... Um, this video was, uh, there was originally a video by Seth Bling, which I will link below. Uh, I did see the video, but I actually just saw it really late at night. And uh, after that, I kind of completely forgot and I never actually really checked out the command. So I tried to do it on my own. Um, with some logic, it succeeded. And, and later I checked and actually have the exact same way as Seth Bling of doing it. So yeah, that's, uh, that's really cool. So... This, these two command blocks are just a clock, which is constantly sending this to a redstone block, this one's setting it to stone, constantly just replacing this so that this command block, this redstone block is just constantly renewed. So, set block, redstone block, like one next to it, and then the same place, just set block stone. And then this command does all the magic, uh, and this is the wrong one. Uh, this command does all the magic. <laughs> So it's executing at any arrow, it's summoning a fireball, fireball, with a uh, explosion power of 1, but the, the magic thing is, uh, which actually did take a little, quite a while to figure out, I would say, is that if you don't input a direction, it will just adapt the direction that the arrow has, so that it will just go the exact same way the arrow would, and that's how you get it to just shoot like you want it to, so... Yeah, that's just basically the command, it will be in the description, and then just put it to one of these clocks, this is just the exact same clock, and you have a gas bow, which can shoot, and you can change the explosion power, but I've got mob griefing off right now, because I was doing testing something else, and I didn't want everything to explode, so mob griefing, and I put it to true, and I shoot, it actually leaves behind a little crater, or, if you want, oh my god, this is gonna be madness, so I'm gonna get really far away, a really big crater. Like, really big. That's explosion power 20, that's way overkill, so yeah. I don't think t uh, more than 10 actually uh, makes much sense to do, but yeah. So, that's the gas bow and 3 command blocks. There you go, challenge completed, but then he put another challenge. And that is how to uh, make... With only three command blocks, same as the gospel thing, TNT that instantly explodes. So, boom. Boom. Now this one I actually found really simple. I just about immediately figured it out. It's just once again the clock and it's this system. It's just entity data at E time type prime TNT view zero. So this is just constantly setting the views of all prime TNT in the world to zero. So that as soon as you ignite the TNT, it just immediately explodes because the fuse gets set to zero and then it's like boom. So yeah, both of your challenges completed, Ian Moffat. So uh, yeah, and he also said like uh, with a few of my systems that they could be with less command blocks. And he's absolutely right, I think, because sometimes I'm not the best at compacting my things, but they work. And uh, yeah. It is what it is, so these two are just another clock, but this one's would fill, so that it fills these five redstone blocks, I actually only needed three, I discovered later. But this is a system that basically it summons a creeper that damages you, but actually doesn't explode. So I'll just demonstrate it, here we have the creeper summoned. It's a little glitchy and weird sometimes, but yeah, if I go, go to game mode zero, I kind of piss it off. Oh. And not the spiders. Okay, crap. Wait, I mean, let me just despawn the mobs first, otherwise I'm gonna get killed. Um, peaceful, easy, and let's get some instant health pots, cause otherwise I'm gonna die. Um, instant health to just go to game at zero, kind of. So, full health, and let's summon the thing. 
should attack me. Oh. Okay, this is. What the fuck? <laughs> Why it no work? Why it no work? Okay, wait just a minute. I think I made a little mistake. This was working just a minute before. I swear to God, I don't know why it's not anymore. Okay, so somehow this system fucked up. So let me just, I guess, set it to peaceful again and to easy again. And let's try this again. Let's get those instant health bots again because I think I took a, lo a lot of damage there. So yeah, as you can see, the charge creeper is attacking me, but it's not exploding. Now it does look a, we a bit weird and glitchy, but this is the be the system I thought of to make it. So sorry for the little hiccup there. Uh, I changed some things at the last minute. Probably shouldn't have done that, and it kind of messed up the system, but it works. Um, so basically, this is summoning a zombie with invisibility, uh, with invisibility and uh, uh, with invisibility and also uh, resistance 50, so that he doesn't just die really easily, and then um, a custom name creeper so that when you get killed by it it says that you were killed by creeper because that's just logical and then this is summoning a creeper which is powered one so that's a powered creeper it has no AI and it's called charged so basically it the creeper has no AI and then the way it's walking is actually because of this clock and it's constantly TPing the creeper with the name charged to the zombie with the name creeper so that it's constantly being TP to the zombie. So the zombie is attacking you. The zombie's walking, but it looks like the creeper, because the creeper um, is actually visible and the zombie is not. Simple as that. Um, all the command blocks, uh, all the commands will be in the description below. I was a bit uh, stupid with the system, but it, everything works eventually. And uh, I hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll see you guys in the next one.